In this video, I'll show you how to remove or reduce wrinkles with the Paintex plugin from CoreMelt. A client might request to tone down the wrinkles under this man's eyes, and this doesn't take long. To start, find the C2 Paintex category of effects, then drag Tracked Paint onto the target clip. Press the Open Editor button in the inspector, and you'll see the full screen interface. At the top of the screen, I'll select the Blur tool, then adjust the brush size and softness to medium settings and the blur range to about 4, then paint over the area just underneath one eye in a single stroke. Now that I've made a brush stroke, I'll tweak the brush size, brush softness, and also the blur range or blur strength down here in the brush controls to make sure I've got it right. Just above these settings, I'll start tracking forward with this button here. During this particular track, you might see that the track goes a little bit off because our subject has blinked. This track completed before I had a chance to stop it, but if you need to stop a longer track, you can use this button here. To fix the track, I'll move in time to just before the blink, then I can throw away the bad tracking data with this menu item here. Now I can move forward in time, just using the arrow keys, to just after the blink, and then track forward again. With tracking complete, the area under his eye is softer, but it looks fake. To disguise this, I'll use the Add Noise brush on top, and for the moment I'll just disable Animate and leave the other settings as defaults. There's no need to retrack because the noise brush is on the same layer as the blur and follows the track we made earlier. With the Add Noise instance selected, I can adjust the strength of the effect and also the spatial scale or the size of the grain. I've also got control over the brush stroke, including the size and the softness as usual. Now this side of his face is done and looks good. However, if I only wanted to tone down the wrinkles rather than removing them, I could try reducing the opacity of any of these individual brushes or the entire layer. And for this example, I think I'll reduce the blur brush to around 80%. To remove the wrinkles on the other eye, I'll make a new layer with this plus button here and repeat these steps. I'll move to the beginning of the clip, I'll add a blur, and I won't worry too much about getting the settings perfect just yet. I'll also straight away add noise before I track, and just tweak the settings lightly. You can do this before or after tracking. And now I'll track forward. Again, the track gets a little bit messed up with the blinking. So I'll come back to before the blink, throw away the bad tracking data, move forward with the arrow keys, and then track forward one more time. When I'm done, I'll press Save Changes, and the resulting clip will then play in real time. However, it's easy to overdo a smoothing operation. If you find the result looks a little plastic or false, you can just press Open Editor and return to all the settings you changed earlier. To ease the effect on or off, select each blur brush and turn the blur range down if it's a little bit too strong. You can also try increasing the noise strength, if it's not quite strong enough. You can turn any element's opacity down up here, and you can adjust entire layers, or individual brushes, the blur brushes and the noise brushes. Press Save Changes, 
and you'll see the revised result straight away. You can get good results with many different clips, so long as you remember to adjust the spatial scale in the Add Noise brush to ensure that the size of the grain matches the clip you're trying to affect. PaintX is available now from Cormelt.com, and there's a free trial available too. Thanks for watching.